The interface in Capture One is highly customizable. We can, for example, change the location of the tools and also the browser from the view menu. Let's switch back to the default workspace. Besides collapsing and expanding tools, they can also be rearranged by dragging them in the tool tab itself. If a tool is dragged out of the tool tab, it becomes a floating tool and will stay there until it's placed back in the tool tab or removed from the sub menu of the tool itself. Tools can be dragged to other tool tabs as well. For example, if I drag out the white balance, I could then replace that inside the exposure tool tab. The default tool tabs can be arranged by simply command dragging them on the Mac or Alt on the PC. And if you don't need a specific tool tab, just right click and remove it here. You can easily add it again at any point, so don't be afraid to try out different layouts. To add new tool tabs, right click to the right of the current tool tabs and choose Add Tool Tab. Besides the pre made tool tabs, there is an option to add a custom tool tab. Give it a name and an icon. The new tool tab will be empty. To add tools, simply right click and add the tools that you would like to have. You can rearrange them if needed. The toolbar can be customized as well. Right click on it and choose Customize Toolbar. Here you can add and remove icons and features of your choice. Further customization can be done from the view menu where different labels and parts of the interface can be hidden or shown. When you're happy with the workspace, it's always a good idea to save it. You can even save multiple workspaces for different workflows of your photography.